Okay, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about the conjugate pair theorem. And what the conjugate pair theorem says, it says if you have a complex number of the form, for example, a plus bi, if we know that that's a zero of our polynomial, then it says a minus bi is also a zero. Conversely, if uh, a minus bi is a zero, then a plus bi is a zero. So it's, it's this idea that complex numbers, the zeros appear in pairs. Okay. So suppose, uh, suppose we know that f of x is a polynomial and it's got real coefficients and it has the following zeros. Square root of 3, negative i, 5 minus 4i, and 1 plus i divided by 8. Suppose those are all zeros and we want to know what three other zeros would be. Well, we can write um, negative i in, as a complex number by writing it as 0 minus well, 1i. And since 0 minus 1i is a 0, that would imply that 0 plus 1i, which just equals positive i, is also a 0. Okay, so just flip the sign on him is all it says. Since 5 minus 4i is a 0, again, the conjugate, all we do is just change the sign in the middle. So since 5 minus 4i is a 0, that means 5 plus 4i is also a 0. And 1 plus i over 8, since that's a 0, again, you can think about this as, you know, you don't have to do this. You, we could write it as 1 8 plus i over 8. And since that's a 0, again, we'll just change the sign in the middle. We can make it 1 8 minus i over 8 or equivalently, 1 minus i over 8 is also a 0.